five tips on how to pass your nursing interview when you're applying here in the UK. Sometimes nurses attend our London courses from as far away as Glasgow, Cardiff and Portsmouth. Thank you. Sometimes nurses would like to attend our outstanding OSCE courses but for various reasons can't make it here. It's okay, we hear you. Here at IELTS Medical, we're currently working on reaching every nurse wherever you are in the world. In the meantime though, we've got our video course and textbook package called The Ultimate Guide to the NMC OSCE. Your guide includes the theory for the exam as well as vouchers for one or two six-hour sessions with our OSCE educators. Grab your ultimate guide at OSCEnurses.com today. So, nagkaroon ka na ng booking for an interview para sa isang malaking NHS trust o isang nursing care home papunta dito sa UK. This can be a life-changing moment para sa iyo at sa iyong pamilya. Kaya importante that you would do well in your interview. Kagabangan ngayon for interviews, more often than not, is point-based system na. So hopefully, these five tips can give you that edge in passing that interview. You have to look the part. Dress to impress. So, paano yan? So, pang nagpunta ka, kung physical ang interview, dapat maayos ang suit mo. At least, siguro, wear a long sleeve shirt. Dito sa UK, tawag, wear a shirt. If possible, you can wear a tie. Pero don't go fancy na you have a pink suit and you have a yellow green tie. Huwag ganun. You look professional. Pero ngayon, sa panahon ng COVID, syempre nag-iba na. Meron ang karamihang interviews ngayon is online. So, pag online interview, hindi yung parang may hawa ka lang na selfie. Ganyan lang yung camera mo. Hindi pwede. Dapat nakaset yung camera mo na ikaw yung focus. Walang distractions. Anong ibig sabihin sa distractions? Hindi yung makikita sa likod. Meron ka palang uh, malaking cabinet doon na nandun pa yung tubal mo. Hindi rin pwede maganda na ang background mo is si TV nakabukas. You have to prepare. Make sure na ikaw ang focus. Don't give your interviewer other things to focus on kasi when they do that, you be easily can be forgettable. So you want to be remembered for the right thing, not for the wrong things. You should research about the NHS trust or hospital or the private institution that is trying to hire you. One of the best things na maaalala ka nila is malaman nila na gusto mong mag talagang magtrabaho para sa kanila. And one of the best ways to show that is that you know a lot about those trusts. For example, yung NHS trust mismo. Med medyo siguro maganda kung na-research mo yung lugar. Pero let's say sa care home nila, meron ba silang statistic na, ah, you take care of your um, uh, clients in a real great way. Innovative ba sila? They have, well, gano'n na sila katagal. It goes on and on. And on and on. If you know these things, especially their values, pwedeng pwede ka nilang matandaan at sabi nila, you know what? I like this nurse. Kilala na niya tayo. And, that would make you stand out. Now, speaking of values, isa sa mga pinaka-common values na tinatanong about um, sa mga interviews, yung hinahanap nila is yung six C's of nursing. So, ano-ano ang six C's of nursing? Match your skills as a nurse para doon sa job that you're applying for. So, what do I mean by that? Yes, minsan nag-apply uh, tayo para sa isang work for abroad na bala na si Batman, pwede na yan, kahit ano. Yes, that might work. Pero mahirap din na pupunta tayo sa interview na hindi man lang natin sure kung ano ba yung ina-apply natin. Just imagine this, tanungin ka ng interviewer. So, Mr. George, do you know what you're applying for here? Uh, um, um, I really don't know but I just like to work uh, for your company. Do you think that's a very good answer? Maaalala ka nila again for the wrong reasons. So what you can do as part of your research, hindi mo lang research kung ano yung institution or hospital. May research mo rin, ano yung hinahanap nila? Normally, may mga job description dyan. Let's just say, okay, OR nurse ka sa Pilipinas at theater nurse ang hinahanap nila. Then that matches, maganda. Pero paano kung ward ang hinahanap nila? 
willing to learn ka, pero wala ka naman talagang relevant experience kasi nasa OR ka lagi. So, pwede mong sabihin halimbawa is that you focus on your skills. Skills like what? Skills like nung nag-aral ka, nagkaroon ka ng exposure na gustuhan mo but you fell into uh, the operating room. Pwede rin na pwede mong pakita na marunong kang gumamit ng mga pertinent things na ginagamit sa work. At pwede rin na sabihin mo na uh, willing to learn ka. Kasi alam mo yung skills, maaaring hindi mo na practice, huli mo na na practice nag aral ka, but you're a team player and you want to learn. Those are things that you could use when you are going for that interview. Most questions asked na ngayon for interviews are situation-based. Situational. Maaaring nangyari na. So, ang mga tema ng tanong nila ang umpisa is, tell me more or tell me something about when this happened. Ganon yung flow. So, this might be questions on, let's say, patient care. Lalong-lalo na kung patient safety ang pinag-uusapan. Pwede rin natin sabihin na ang tanong nila is, tell me something when you actually work with other members of the team. So, tinitignan din nila yung competencies mo on how you work with other people. Kasi yan ang ginagawa ng mga nurse dito sa United Kingdom. So, ang top tip namin sa inyo para dito sa tip na to in particular is uh, use the STAR format. The STAR format follows as situation, task, action, and then results. So, let's just say uh, the situation is you had a patient who had a fall. Anong ginagawa mo doon? Ika, ikaw ay isang nurse sa isang, let's say, 30-bedded unit at handle mo tong patient na to na post-op na nagka-fall. So, ano yung task? The task is, uh, this patient is uh, post-op, uh, may edad na, anong comorbidities, ano yung background, bakit nagkaroon siya ng risk for falling, at A, action, anong ginawa mo? Paano mo ngayon, ina, ano bang ginawa mo nung nakita mo nag-fall yung patient? Nag-observations ka ba or nag-vital signs? Nagkaroon ka ba ng assessment? Tinignan mo ba yung post-op site niya? in mo ba kung kaya niya mag -isip? At lalong-lalo na, safe ba siya? And last, yung results. So, ano yung lumabas? Ano yung naging resulta ng mga kinuha mong assessments? And may ginawa ka bang ibang actions to further escalate. So, these are things na pwedeng uh, maging situation sa isang interview. I'm the type of person, if you ask me a question and I don't know the answer, I'm going to tell you that I don't know. But I bet you what? I know how to find the answer and I will find the answer. Bibigyan ko pa kayo ng isa pang tool aside from STAR. Improve natin ang konti. From STAR, gawin natin STAR LA. So, ano yung LA na LA? Kung ang situation na bigay sa inyo is medyo negative yung outcome, you can have the L and then A. Anong ibig sabihin nun? L means lessons. Anong nanatutunan mo? Pwede mo rin sabihin L is for learnings. Anong natutunan nyo in that process? Paano mo rin yun na napatunayan? Gumawa ka ba ng incident report? Gumawa ka ba ng fact-checking? Nag-reflection -re -nag ka ba? And then, ano yung A? A is yung application na yun nung natutunan nyo. So, from yung natutunan nyo na lesson, gumawa ba kayo ng action plan? Nagkaroon ba kayo ng standardized way on how to handle patients na merong ganung problem? So, yun. Pag yun ang ginamit mong method, it gives you a, a more systemized approach kung paano mo naikwento yung strengths mo at you again make yourself very memorable ask a good question. So, what do I mean? Karamihan ngayon ng mga interviews, they would always end with, uh, do you have any other questions? Pag ganito yung uh, narinig mong tanong, ano ba yung magandang tanong? Uh, very tempting na magtanong ka ng something about the sweldo. This is highly, uh, I would say, uh, not advised kasi Pag nagtanong ka kagad ng sweldo, pwede nilang sabihin, nasa job posting yan. And don't also ask questions that you would uh, actually find in their uh, website. Hindi maganda yon. So ask something that would actually help them remember you. Yung would actually convey that you want to work for them. Perfect example is, ask, what are your plans for career progression? 
Maganda yan. Pwede rin you can ask, uh, do you have hired Filipinos before? Can you tell me how they are doing now? Maganda yan. Kasi these questions could also show you on the other end, hindi porket ikaw mang nag a gusto mong makarating ng abroad, uh, ma- na ik- sila lang lahat magtatanong. Pwede ka rin magtanong para mapatunayan na nila sa'yo na yes, it's good to work for us. So, yun ang pag-isipan mo. Ano yung magandang tanong na importante sa'yo that would show them na yes, I want to work for you. Diba? So, those are five tips para maipasa mo ang iyong interview for a job here in the UK as a nurse. Ngayon, kung may mga tanong pa kayo, you could always send us a message sa Facebook, YouTube, and even on Instagram. Plus, if you want more information about UK nursing, why don't you visit our website, www.filipinouknurse.com and sana uh, you do well in your interview. Good luck and we hope to see you soon dito sa United Kingdom. Always remember, Manong Knows. Manong Knows best to you